So today our topic is zones of storage in a reservoir. Okay, as you know, we construct a dam for the purpose of having a reservoir. This if this is a rough sketch, very rough sketch of a dam, and this is a spillway gate. through which the overflow will be happening and this is sluice gate okay so this is the river bed so we are constructing this dam for the purpose of having a reservoir in here for storage of ample amount of water in a big pot called reservoir and this storage wa stored water in the reservoir is divided into a kind of five zones of storage okay so if this is the reservoir if the dam okay and if this is the water level that is kept with the top surface of dam this water level is called as normal pool level normal pool level is the normal level of water in the reservoir okay so that will be the most line or level pertaining to the topmost end of dam constructed that is normal pool level and in case of floods design floods for which we have designed amply there will be a level of water like this this is called as maximum pool level we have anticipated this flow of water so that we will be opening this spillway gate and water will be flowing like this ok so there will be a level of water that is maximum pool level ok and you know this is sluice gate and the level with which water can be drawn through sluice gate or the level of sluice gate is called as minimum pool level ok so the three types of levels normal pool level is the normal level of water in reservoir not in the time of flood or not in the time of drought the upper one is maximum pool level that is at the time of design flood of happening in the reservoir site at the time of flood this one is the level of sluice gate that is called as minimum pool level so as per the design the level water level will be between always between minimum pool level and maximum pool level in a year or in the lifetime of reservoir okay so the water stored in between this normal pool level and minimum pool level is the amount of water that is used for our purpose if this dam or reservoir water is stored for is used for hydrology purpose or irrigation purpose whatever uses we are using this water for we can use only this much of quantity of water and this zone is known as useful storage useful storage obviously so the useful storage will be the water in from minimum pool level to normal pool level in the reservoir ok and there will be a level difference between normal pool level and maximum pool level this water is another zone it is known as sub sub storage surcharge storage this surcharge storage is the amount of water that is overflowing through the dam through spillway gate ok this amount of water will not be used for any purpose it will be just flowing out of the dam and will be leaving into the to join the sea without any use it cannot be used for irrigation cannot be used for hydrology projects ok so surcharge storage is the amount of water from normal pool level to maximum pool level at the time of design flood ok 
and the next one is an important one the water stored below this minimum pool level this is called as dead storage dead storage because obviously the lowermost level water can be drawn from the reservoir is minimum pool level below that that storage is, is kind of a dead storage it, it, it will be staying in there even if we take it or not take it we cannot take it that in as purposefully okay and this storage area this storage area where dead storage is accompanied is where we accommodate sedimentation okay that will be in the coming portions sedimentation will be happening mostly on zone of dead storage okay so you have addressed useful storage surcharge storage dead storage okay i hope these are clear maximum pool level minimum pool level normal pool level and minimum pool level and three types of storage and there are two more storage so in total there is five storages and fourth one is valley storage valley storage is the water in the valley in which this reservoir is made upon if suppose this is the plan of the area if this is the reservoir and this is a dam there will be a number of ponds or streams that is ready to join water or ready to draw water from this reservoir this combined area will be called as valley okay so there will be a big amount of water stored in this valley that is called as valley storage okay and there is one more last one bank storage bank storage is similar to valley storage instead of the whole valley the storage this storage water is on the banks of this reservoir okay so these two things fourth one and fifth one cannot be effectively drawn on the section of this reservoir so we have to study it note, note it differently okay so valley storage and bank storage is the water stored in the valley and bank of reservoirs when this reservoir is emptied only you will be uh, knowing about valley storage and bank storage and also one more point these two storages will not be calculated the amount of or volume of water in valley storage and bank storage cannot be calculated by simply using the geological graph or elevation depth graph or elevation storage graph that we have talked about okay you will have to find it in a different manner or try it at a method only if this uh, reservoir is empty you will be finding the accurate amount of valley and bank storage okay so there are one two three four five zones of storage of reservoir i hope you understand it it's pretty simple thank you